Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. This is what we're looking at here. We, uh... <laughs> we have to do very well here at Talladega this week. Uh, or else we're eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, I just noticed, I didn't see this last time. Even had Coughlin not won, we still would have been, like seven points behind him so we still would have been in the same position had Coughlin got second but it would have been much easier to catch seven points instead of 18 but that's against uh, that's besides the point now we're in the situation we're in because of mistakes that we made well we didn't make any mistakes I made one huge mistake uh if you didn't see that go back to the last episode where everything was looking peachy and then something happened um the worst time possible and let's move on now we got Talladega coming up I just want to check one thing first all right good we still only have one rival it's Austin Wayne self he took quite a swing at us last time around but hopefully he doesn't take any swings at us today because that would really ruin our season um, we do have two wins previously in the Camping World Truck Series. I don't know if they were this season or if one of them came. Let's look. Let's look real quick because we got time. We only have one win this season. So one came in the hot seats. I think it was at Pocono. Then one came this season, I believe, at Martinsville where we're racing next week or next race, whatever. So if we can make it through here, we're at the only track we've won at this season, which is good for us because that might mean we can just immediately punch our ticket to Homestead and not have to worry about Phoenix and or... What's the other one? Texas is the other one. It's written on a piece of paper over there. I didn't remember that. So let's get out of Talladega where we're doing going to do some plate racing for our season. Here we go. That was, oh, sorry. I thought it would go when I hit the next race thing. It didn't. So here we go. All right. We're here at the high banks of Talladega. We ain't going practice. We ain't gonna... I think I am gonna change the setup, actually. I'm gonna loosen it up. Just a touch. Just to... Because to, usually I think when we come here, I'm a touch tight. Now we're gonna qualify. We're not gonna qualify well in any way, because I haven't... I haven't set up qualifying in any way. This is what I just did. I couldn't figure out... I thought I stalled it. I didn't stall it. I just jumped up in a second too early. So this is going to be a long, boring qualifying, so we're probably just going to cut from here to here. Well, we're coming down the back straightaway on our last lap of qualifying. You've missed nothing. This looks like every other track, just a little bit bigger. There's all the American flags around three and four. I've just had my foot down on the gas the entire time. We've been in fourth gear, and we've run around the bottom. Uh, as we come across, we'll learn that we have qualified in last place, and so we'll have to go all the way up through the field to win. And that's how this will work. Uh, unique about this track, the start-finish line is not like here like you would usually have on a track. It's actually up here, which uh, is a little different. Oh, look, we qualified last. How did I know? Oh, by almost a second. All right, so keys to this race. Do not lose the draft and do not crash. I think those are pretty self-explanatory. Here we go. We're already in second. Wasn't ready for that. This is a, a track where my screwy uh, shifter there will kill us if it shifts incorrectly. Get up to fourth gear going into one and two here. We're staying right in the draft on the outside right now. I'd like to be on the inside, but that's okay. We'll make it down there in a minute. Oh, we're going to lose those guys, which means we might fall back a little bit out of the draft here. But that's okay, we can just get behind Boyd and then we'll stay on the bottom from here. My foot's all the way down and I think they're pulling away from me. Uh, plate racing makes no sense to me in this game. Like right now, Dowser should definitely be either falling back or pulling up to us and he's doing neither. I don't know how he's just staying right there. It seems impossible. And then when like, you fall off the draft, like, three star cars that are worse than me will be incredibly fast by themselves, and I won't be. I don't know how it works. I just don't know how it works. 
And nobody will push you, so that's the other issue with plate racing. If people pushed, it'd be fine. I can understand it in uh, Xfinity, but there's no rule against it in trucks or cup, and they still don't push. I will push, though, all the way. It's around the back of Chastain now. We're going to have to start making some positions up here soon. Really, the only thing that matters today for us is a win. But I'd love to get some stage points in both the first two stages so we can be pretty secure in knowing that we've... Uh, We've either we've definitely beat Crafton on points so that we maybe don't have to win. I don't know how many laps we have left. Another seven this stage. Do we have fuel? Oh yeah, we have plenty of fuel. Go Chastain, fill that hole, come on. Get under him, Chastain, go. Take the move, Chastain. I'm stuck behind you. You're not doing anything. We're just going to push Chastain up here because I'm tired of waiting for him. And we're going to hope that Peck continues to do that. Oh, I just couldn't get there. I was letting off the gas so I didn't get to the back of him. Now we'll get to the inside of him. I will give them props in this game for having pretty good stage race, or not stage racing, plate racing. It just needs some tweaks, but I think they've already said they're not really doing much with it this year since they, it was a big thing last year, and they're focused on other stuff this year. Oh, couldn't quite get to the inside of Forrester there. I was hoping though. We'll just give him a bump down the back straight. This is the view for the driver. Absolutely nothing. I was thinking about for NASCAR Heat 3, I like to do the, like the 100% race streams. I was thinking maybe to do some sort of challenge where I have to do it from the cockpit mode. Because I don't really ever race from that mode in uh, this game. Mostly because of the spotter, because he's not really accurate enough for me to race from that mode and not be able to see where cars are around me. As we saw last race many a times he said clear to the bottom and I was definitely not. Oh, we're up to 21st now. We're slowly moving our way up. Just gonna peg the gas right in the back of Quapple here. I think he's actually maybe holding us up a little bit. Push it, push it, go, go! Fill the hole! When people jump up like that, you can't let them come back down. Just get in there. There you go, fill that. Oh, come on. You guys got to start moving up. I know you they're not really in any kind of position to try and make crazy moves right now because they don't care. They're not in the playoffs, but I am. I'm just going to have to start moving people. There you go. Snyder jumps up in front of Quapple for no reason, so that gives us both the the places there. Get right on the back of Yaley here. I'm really focusing hard, that's why I'm not talking as much as I have been in past episodes. Because I'm really trying not to make a mistake and wreck half the field, including myself. I'm really trying to get up to the front. There's Coughlin, but it doesn't matter because he's already won, so. We can get in front of him and gain some points on him, but he's already through, so we're not going to be able to put him back behind us at this point. They did a good job to get up to the front last race and get a win when they needed one, because here, like I said last time, it's a crapshoot. Gonna slowly turn down here under Gillen. We're not slowly doing that, we're quickly doing that, but we're slowly gonna just work our way up. There's Crafton right there, he's the one we wanted to pass. Make sure we get points on in both the stages. 
So we're doing that pretty well here. Getting right up to where he is. You just gotta slowly and methodically work your way around people. Just move them up. Don't make too many big plays. Here are two to go. Crafton's right on the cusp of getting points, but we are too. We're gonna get kill a little loose up into Crafton there. And just try and drive right under both of them and get some points here. Not quite gonna get the stage win that I wanted, but it was probably a stretch anyway. Actually, we still don't have stage points yet. We gotta get past Briscoe for that. Briscoe's the next truck up ahead of Crafton. I don't remember how far he was ahead of Crafton. But as of right now, we're one point on Crafton, so... Oh, two points on Crafton now. Three, four points on Crafton. Keep going. We want more. There's roads. Oh, all these points on Crafton. This is great. This is awesome. I could technically get back ahead of him if I get a good amount of points in both the first two stages and he doesn't. I didn't want to be on the outside. This is not where I want to be. This is definitely not where I want to be. Uh, Nemechek's not going to let me in easy, is he? Oh no, I don't want to be here. There, oh, Nemechek's going to let me in. Breathe the throttle a little bit. I can't get in there. There we go. I don't like the outside, especially in this game because they are very keen to just leave you there with no draft and then you just go way back. I'd rather be on the inside. Just follow the line. Oh, no, I forgot that was self. He's going to try and take a swing at us. Just move past him. Now he'll push. Get him behind me, bud. <laughs> Give me a push. All right, so I don't know if Crafton was able to make it up into the points, but we definitely have a good amount of points on him right now. I don't know if this is the end of the stage or if we got more laps. No, that was the end. We got fifth. That's a solid six points for us. So, if Crafton didn't get any, let's see. Crafton did not get any points, so we're 12 points back of him now. We don't need to come down and pit. 12 points back on Crafton. We're in a good spot, too. We're up towards the front. Whew. That was a stressful stage one there. Here we go. Stage two. I always forget that we start in second gear here. That's good, because it gives us one less gear to screw up. They're good change to screw up. How much more bottom do you want me to be, dude? Pushing the inside lane. Outside lane's not going to get a good run to start. So we're going to push Bell and whoever is in front of Bell, Gregson, out to the lead right now. This is exactly where we want to be. If we can get out to the front of them, or a lot of times when I'm on fleet tracks, I like to just get one truck in front of me, or car, depending on the series, and just push them around the track until right at the end and then make the move and take the win. Because if there's one truck in front of me, I know I'm getting a draft and moving pretty quickly and I can bump them and keep it moving pretty good. If they're behind me, they don't push me, so I, I slow down quite a bit. So it's faster to actually have one truck in front of you. At least in my opinion. We'll move Bell up the track so we can get that one truck in front of us and we'll be able to side drive him a little bit, but he's coming back. He's got no draft, but somehow driving faster than us, I think. Oh, now Gregson's doing something crazy. That is his teammate out there, so maybe he's trying to help him out, not me. But here we go. Now we're in the perfect position. Just stay here for the rest of the stage. Do we need to pit? We've got 10 laps of fuel left. We're going to do some blocking of the rest of the guys here. Oh, don't go... Oh, okay. Jeez. I'm fine if the outside goes around. The inside cannot go around. Yeah, see, because Nemechek will not push me, so that everybody on the outside is just going to get the draft and be faster than us somehow. So, let's see how many laps we have left. Seven. So, we're going to be able to make it on fuel this time. And we'll just have to make, I guess, the one, the one stop. Maybe a green flag stop in the last stage. We'll see. Depending on how long it is. Get right on the back of Bell here. Now Gregson's going to be left out. Just stay right on him. This is... 
It takes a lot of concentration here to just stay on him and not make a mistake. So I'm trying to talk through it. There's also not a ton happening since we're now up to the front of the pack and we're all sort of single file, so we could just talk about whatever, I guess. Must win situation where, as long as Crafton doesn't have points now this time, we got nine points back on him, so we're three, only three back of him. Which is a good spot to be in going into the last stage, as long as we can finish a few spots ahead of him, we're in. And that's the beauty of the stage points right there. We're 18 points back of him at the beginning of this race, but we can easily just pull right back up to him. Although I'm sure Crafton will have something to say at the end of the race about it. Fell very wobbly into the corner here. Got Nemechek still right up here with us. All three of us are in the playoffs. I think... I mean, if we stay where we are now, all the way to the end, I think all three of us would definitely make it to the next round. And I'm feeling good about Martinsville being the first race of the next round. I think we'll be able to probably, hopefully, get a win there. So, we'll just pull down in front of Nemechek here, block him off. So, all that we really need to focus on is getting to the next round. I think we'll do pretty well in the next round. Especially if we can get the win at Martinsville, because then we don't have to worry about anything uh, further on. Until we get to Homestead. And really, stage points don't even matter at that point, because we're not going to really take anything with us to Homestead, so... We can just cruise around for Texas and Phoenix if we get the win at Martinsville. I mean, we'll still try and win, and maybe drive a little bit more crazy, because we have that win in our pockets, but... What is Bell doing? He's driving like a half a lane up for some reason. Now he's a full lane up. I don't know what he's doing. And yet, like, I have uh, Nemechek behind me, but we're not making up any time to him. I don't understand. He's all by himself out there driving in his own lane, and here comes the outside lane with nobody pushing, but somehow they're still faster than us. Somebody explain it to me! I don't think this is how plate racing works. I don't know. What are you doing, Bell? He's confusing me. That's his game here. He's playing mind games with me. Oh! The yellows come out. We'll take second in the stage. That gives us nine more points. Where did Crafton end up? Crafton did not get any points, so we're three points back. We are three points back of Crafton. Did, do we get 32 left? I don't know that we can, we'll get 32 laps if we fill all the way up, so I'm not going to come in. Now, that does mean I'm starting on the outside of row one, which is not necessarily where I want to be. And I don't think we made any kind of deal with uh, Bell here to let us in, so not that he would have. So we're going to try and get ahead of him, maybe? Just squeeze him, get right on the side of him. We got nobody pushing. The, the outside lane has just disappeared for some reason. Here comes the entire inside lane. Give me a push. Give me a push. Give me a push. Come on. Push me. Push me, Gregson. Push me. He's not doing it. Oh, yes. We got Self. Yes. Self. Push me. Oh, Self is wrecking us. No. Oh, the cautions come out. Oh, we're just going to drive. Oh, my goodness. We almost just killed ourselves. What was that? Do we get 30 laps of fuel? I don't think we do. Nobody else is pitting. We won't. We're back at 12. For a second, we had self, and he was helping us. Self-help, I guess, is what you would say for that one. Um, he was actually pushing us. That's the only way to get a push on a play track, is to have a rival come up behind you and give you a good shove. That was our only hope there, and then he just had a... He did the thing where he's not square on the bumper, and he gets us sideways, and we just, you know... I couldn't control the truck because he was giving me too good of a push. Is that crafted out in front? Did he somehow get to the front because of that? Bull crap. No. How did that happen? This game is just throwing up middle fingers left and right at me. They're like, oh, you want to push? Here's a push. I'll wreck ya. And then they're like, oh, by the way, the guy that you're chasing that you're only three points behind now, we'll just give him first for that. 
All right. I don't think anybody pitted, so I don't know how he got there. Okay, that's not crafting. It's Gillen. We're good. We good. I was gonna be outraged. I had to breathe the throttle a little bit because we got too quick on Briscoe there. We got four laps of fuel left. We'll come in here soon and hopefully get enough fuel to get to the end. We just gotta be very careful about when they're coming in because if they come in and I'm right on the back of them like this, I'll get hooked down into the pits. It might get some damage. So I'm just gonna probably back off of them just a little bit here, coming through three and four. So that if need be, I can make a little bit of a move. Are you, are you pitting? Are you pitting? Not pitting, okay, we're good. I don't think they usually wait till their fuel tanks are out either, so we definitely want to be careful because now we got three to go. They might come in this lap. I might come in this lap, to be fair. Put your hand out the window if you're pitting, please. I can't see it. I gotta get down so I can see Briscoe's hand. Is it out? His hand's not out the window. He's not pitting. Am I pitting? I don't know. Should I put my hand out the window anyway? Just give him a little. Hey! If Frisco comes in, I feel like I should come in. Is he coming in? Tell me, Spider. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hey, he's not coming. We'll come in next lap then. Gregson making a move on the outside. Briscoe's up there. I can't really get back up to him. If we come down like this to the end of the race, I don't think I have the speed to pass. I think our only hope might be either just getting out in front and blocking, or we have to just hope we finish points-wise ahead of Crafton. Yellow's out. We're going to get a yellow pit. We are not going to end up on the front row. Good. Bell and Peck are going to stay out. Did they pit last time then? We'll find out, I guess. All right. With about five, six to go, we're going to try... I'm in the wrong state. Uh, gear. We're going to try and get to the front because I think that's going to be the only way we can ensure a win is if we get to the front and block. We're gonna push Bell. He's gonna abandon us when he gets ahead of Peck, so we're just gonna stay on the back of him for now. Now we're gonna fall off of him. We're getting destroyed by the inside line. We need a hole to get into. We need a hole. Gregson's still not pushing. I got a little wobbly there. Got into Smith a little bit. Oh, come on! Push me, Gregson! Look at everybody else so much faster. This is so annoying. I need a hole! Oh, there goes... No, there goes Crafton! I need a hole to get into! Come on! There's the hole. Alright, we're back at 12. Crafton's ahead of us. We gotta go. Was that Crafton or was that... Oh, maybe that was Infinger. Are we good? Oh, it was Infinger, I think. Oh, I think we're fine. We just gotta work our way back up to the front. I saw an eight, and I and it was yellow. I so I assumed it was Crafton, but I think it was his teammate. Cause I just saw it in the rearview mirror as they were coming up to me. And I don't. That's the only truck I see ahead of us. It's yellow. So it was in finger. We're good. We're good. I think Crafton might be right. Oh, is that Crafton way in the back? Huh. Maybe that is. We might be good. Alright, they're not super organized up here, which is good, because that means I can get quite a few passes done, and when they're too wide, if you go to the inside of too wide, you get two passes done at once. It's a true fact right there. We do have enough fuel to get to the end, just barely. Uh, who knows if Bell and Peck can get there. We're right on the back of Infinger now. Who gave me quite a scare because I thought he was crafting. 
I don't think Rhodes is up here either, which is the only other thing that could ruin this plan, is if Rhodes happen to win or be up here. I don't think that's him in front, but it could be, so let's find out real quick. I think it's Bell up front. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, please. Oh my god, I thought Truex was going to just take me out there. We're just not getting the runs we need right now. I can't get to the back of Infinger. He's also running a lane up again, so I can't get up there to get behind him because Truex is right here on my freaking... He's freaking side-drafted me. Get out of here! Getting held up by Truex. Now, see, that was the issue. Truex was just sitting there side-drafting us for like a lap and a half. Don't check up because of him. Just go around him. There's a giant hole on the inside. Thank you. So we're back into the top ten. We're passing people left and right. Don't check up for him. Don't let people in. It's Talladega. Infinger's being the nicest person in the world right now for no freaking reason. Oh, you want to come down? Yeah, just come down in front of me. The points don't matter at this point. Now we got Snyder side drafting the crap out of me so I can't move up. Get out of here! There we go. We broke away from Snyder. We're just going to drive to the inside of Infinger because he'll just let us do that because he's just letting everybody through today. Except we're not because we don't have the speed. And figure just drives back around us. Just come on, get up to Peck, get up to him. And then we use that momentum to get around Peck, hopefully. No, we're not. We'll move him up, and then we'll get by him. Here we go. There's Bell, so who's up front? Oh, we got a slow truck coming up here. Gotta be careful. I'm staying low. My wheel's pretty steady right now. Oh, we're gonna catch him in three and four, I think. He's gonna hold us up. We gotta get out. Single file. Come on. Come on, come on. We gotta get single file before we get to this truck so that I don't get stuck. The truck that appears to be running like a half lane up. You gotta get to the bottom, dude. Read the throttle. There we go. We're back to single file. Now I'll take this finishing position right here. I think this is enough. I'd rather have the win, but... I think it's enough. The win just gives us five more points going into the next round, which would be nice, but... Oh, what are you guys doing? Don't swoop into the corner like that. Got Quapo and Smith ahead of us, so we're ahead of everybody else in the playoffs. That truck is doing some kind of an incredible job right now that we haven't caught him yet. We're lined up like four deep nose to tail, almost, and he's still staying ahead of us somehow. Quapo goes up for no reason. And he takes a crazy line in the corner. This is insanity right here. Like, we should be closing on him like 20 miles an hour faster than he is, right? I'm not crazy. Here comes Infinger. We're just going to give him a quick block. Because he's coming out of... Oh, no. He's going to get to our inside. I came up too quickly. God. Get, out, get around Quapple. we got to get in this draft. Oh, it's really strung out up here for some reason. Quapple's got all the speed in the world. Somehow. How do we get so strung out? They can't pass that guy somehow. No, Tommy Joe, we're going to take that from you. Thank you. We're going to get back to single file, but they're all up here. But the guys on the inside are getting a much better run than me with the draft on the outside somehow. Block Truex. Oh, my heart is hurting. I still haven't passed the lap guy yet. It's been like five laps. Right on the back of Quapo, getting a nice draft here. Pushing past Smith. The lap truck could be my key to victory here if I could just get around him. They don't want to pass him for some reason. Alright, Quapo, you went up. You can't come back down like that. 
It also gives me, I said earlier, I always want to have a truck in front of me. I can have that truck in front of me without having to have somebody, a place ahead of me. I can be in first and still have the truck ahead of me, which is good. Exactly what I want. Although he seems to be slow, so. Who is it? Is that Young? There we go. We'll just push him out to the lead. Let's do this. It is young. He's in 31st. As long as he doesn't come back down the pits, we'll be fine. Oof. Oof. Because it's 11 to go. And we're about to take the lead. There it is. We're in the lead. Not quite as big of a round of applause as Trace Elliott got the other day. This win at Watkins Fun. That was a while ago when this comes out, I think, but. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'm not really sure how Young has stayed out in front of us for so long. Doesn't seem to make sense. We'll make another pass for the lead. Right, we may be able to lead this lap. Hopefully, Infinger just gets in behind us and we don't have to really fight him anymore. Doesn't look like what's going to happen, though. He's just going to side draft us. Pull us back from Young as much as he can. Get away from me. Ten to go. Ten to go. I don't want to pass Young. I just want to stay on the back of him. We did lead that lap, by the way. There we go. We're going to clear in finger, finally. Get in here. Now this is where things get rough, because he's going to get a, a crazy run here, and I just got to keep blocking the runs. Drive with the rear view mirror. And stay right on the back of Young. Oh, my eyes are going to get tired of going back and forth. I think we only got 90 to go when we cross the line, though, so we're right there for the win. Got Truex right on the back of us, then Infinger, Nemechek, and Quap will round out the top five. Infinger dropped back a fair bit there, so it, we're single file for the first three trucks here in this pack. Young, however, is in 31st, so we are in fact first place in the race at the moment. Then we got Truex right on the back of us, Infinger and uh, Nemechek are fighting back there. Maybe three wide past them. They see another truck on the outside of Infinger. Hooey! I'm definitely pretty sweaty right now. It's been a stressful race. We got spun, there were cautions coming out, there were threats of green flag pit stops that never came, and now we're in the lead. We got real lucky with this young stuff right here. Sort of played into my strategy perfectly of being having one car ahead of me. Now I don't have to pass him. I can just follow him all the way to the start-finish line on the last lap. The yeah, AI do, do a thing, especially on play tracks, where one of them goes, like, the, the guy in front of me and the guy behind me mirror each other sometimes, so if Young, like, takes a corner wide, Truex is going to do the same thing, and it's really scary, because you just hope that Truex... Oh my god, look at Infinger! You see that run he just had? Oh no, I just gave up the bottom lane. That was dumb. That was so dumb. He scared me with his massive run. And look at all the trucks that are going to us, pass us on the inside now. They were really well packed up on the inside. Infinger, no! Look what you've done to me! I need some... Taylor Swift, look what you made me do! Ah! Oh, we got back in. Well, we're in eighth now. I don't know where Crafton is, so he's still got to go. And it looks like Young's now been dispatched as the leader. Which is not as good for me. Infinger came up there about like 30 miles an hour faster than everybody else. I jumped out to block him. Then I jumped back down to block Truex. Then I jumped back up because Infinger saw the run, but I just stayed up. I went too far up. I really only need to go about halfway up so that I could get in between. get Just get the rear end in front of uh, Infinger so he didn't have the chance to come at me. But I just went all the way up and let Truex come to the inside. It was entirely a mistake on my part. But now with like four or five to go, we're back in seventh and just fighting for our lives here. 
had we got that win, it would have been very easy. But now we just got to fight for our lives. Hopefully, Crafton's well back. He's had a rough couple of races here. He was like 30 points up on us after New Hampshire, and then... Just not had the best couple races here. And because of it, unfortunately, Crafton's going to be out. Hopefully. If I've done my math correctly. Nemechek now stuck on the outside. He's got no help out there, but still doing pretty well. Really, I think he would just really drop back, but not how this game works. Keep dropping. We're good to the inside of Gregson here. Hopefully we can get some draft off of Bell, maybe. Bell's trying to help Gregson still. Still teammates. He tried to help him when I passed both of them earlier. Now he's doing it again. He pulls Gregson back up ahead of me. Now we'll get to the inside, get that side draft on Gregson pulling back. There we go. Get all the way up to Bell. We'll just turn underneath Bell, too. That was uh, some aggressive side drafting there. We breathed the gas just a second because my foot was getting tired and sliding off the pedal a little bit. Truex now stuck on the outside as well, so we'll be able to probably get by him. Can't tell who's in the lead right now. Hill's right in front of me, and then... Is it Chastain? Who is that? Oh, Tommy Joe Martin is out to the lead. Now he gets up. We'll try and push Hill into that hole. Not quite going to get there. If we can get Hill in there, I think Martin's is also a four-star. So all three of us up here at the front are four-stars. There goes Christopher Bell. He did not have enough fuel to get to the end. They gambled and did not pay off for him. Maybe hoping for another caution to come out. I guess. Here comes Gregson on the outside again with a big run. Not going to get there. Hill's going to make the pass for the lead. Martins is going to drop back to second. We're going to try and go to the inside of Martins here. I didn't look at how many laps were left, so we'll have to look this next time around. Get to the inside of Martins. We're right on the back of Hill. So now what we got to do is we got to figure out if we have enough speed to make a pass coming off the last corner. That's what we got to figure out now. We're going to do some experimentation with our last couple laps to see what we can do to get this win. Martin's still on the outside. He's not going to let us go. We need to have him not be there if we want to get this win. Oh my goodness, Truex makes a dive to the inside, gives us a bump. He just stuck his nose in there. I didn't see it coming. He did what I've been doing all day. My chair has slowly moved back away from the pedals. I could barely reach him at this point, but that's okay. I just had my foot planted the whole time and I've been slowly rolling backwards. Truex made quite a move, but we're going to make the move back coming out of two here. Give him a little side draft, but he's right on the back hill for some reason, just sticking in front of him. I'm going to pull myself a little bit closer here so that we can reach the pedals. We're all the way back to fourth now is Tyler Young, not even on the lead lap, is just flying up to our outside. I guess if anybody's doing it, we're glad it's Young. Now Truex is going to get out to the front. I don't know if he's a four-star or five-star truck, so... We'll see what happens. Trying to get to the inside of Martins here. We'll see how many laps we have left when we go by. Because I forgot last time. Because Truex made an absolutely incredible move last time. Two to go. We'll stay in back of Martins here right now. we got to make a pass on this lap. And then a pass on the next lap. And then we get the win, right? right up on the back of Martins now. They're both going to stay pegged to the bottom yellow line. We definitely have enough fuel. Bump him a little bit. Try and get around him any way we can. Give him another bump and another bump. Bump into the corner. They both go up. We're going to try and stick our nose in there. He's got to stay up in the second line. Can we get there? Can we get there? Can we get there? We got the draft, but he's still got a ton of momentum somehow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Ah. Uh. We're not going to be able to draft up far enough to Truex to make a move on him to get the win here if we don't hurry up. Martins is really making a big push on the outside. Come on, he's got no draft. He's got Young not even pushing him. Let's go. There's the fuel light. It doesn't matter. We're this close. We're not stopping. We proved that Pocono when we ran out for real, like, coming off of turn two. There we go. We're up. We're past. It's us and Truex now. Us and Truex with JJ Yaley right on our back bumper. Here comes Martins on the outside again. He's got to run somehow. Stay away. 
We gotta get right up to the back bumper of Truex so that we can make a move somehow going in the bottom, uh, to the end. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna wreck him. I'm gonna find some way to get around him, hopefully. We can't really get up to the back of him for some reason, so... How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna do it? I got nothing! I don't got the speed! Come on! Get to him! Get to him! Yaley, come up here and push me! Somebody do something! I can't get to him! No! We're not gonna win! We're gonna take second place here at Talladega! No! Alright, well, that's it. Second place at Talladega when we needed it the most. Let's make sure that we're really through. I think by math we did it, but we'll find out. We, in fact, finished in second. Crafton finished in 12th, so he actually came back pretty far. But I don't think it was enough for him. We're gonna find out. Oh, seven points. We made it by seven points. Oh my goodness. That couldn't, not have, well, it could have been closer, but. Had he made it to fifth, he would have beaten us. That was stressful. That was incredibly loud. I don't know if you could hear that in the mic from the headphones, but it just blew my ears out. Hey, Jennifer Jokob says, you've made it to another round, Austin Q. Keep digging and don't lose focus. There's still a long way to go. To my, uh, hashtag Miami bound. Anybody else want to say anything? Nope. So we'll move on to the round of six then. I believe Martinsville is uh, the first race. I would be correct. The Texas Roadhouse 200 powered by Alpha Energy or whatever that says. Let's look at the playoff grid. Headed in. We'll be dead last, I assume. Yep, we're three points back of Coughlin, 12 back of Nemechek, 13 Briscoe, 14 Infinger, and 32 for Bell. Um, yeah. Our hope is to win Martinsville and then not have to worry about the other two races. If not, then we're going to have to run really well at Texas and that other one. We don't have a new rival. We're still just with Austin Wayne Self. So come back next time when we go to Martinsville and hopefully win to punch our ticket to the big race at Homestead. See you then. Enjoy everything. Goodbye.